Hey guys, it's Kim of Jolie Noir, and I'm here today with another video. Yes, it is late. I have no makeup on. The reason why I don't have any makeup on is because it's hair washing day. I'm showing you guys how I take care of my sew-ins and how I take care of my natural hair while it's in a sew-in. So if you guys want to take a look and see how I do that, keep watching. While you're here, don't forget to comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you can always be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so let's get started. What I usually do when I'm in a sew-in is I do some washes with me washing inside of my braids and that's like getting all down in there and then some washes I do just the hair itself and then my leave out and the perimeter because what I noticed in the past is if I wash my hair um, all the time every time I wash my hair I'm washing inside my braids it gets really tangled and matted and it's really hard when I take my hair down to be able to detangle it to retain hair length so I just stopped doing a lot of washes inside of my braids because of that. And then I just cleaned the hair, uh, the weave, and then like I said, my leave out to keep it really good and healthy. So what I'm gonna first start with is, of course, blow drying my hair. My ends are kind of dry right now, they're just damp. Um, and then this part is drying. I usually like to towel dry my hair for a good bit to let most of the moisture soak up. Cause with, with um, sewing hair, like weave hair, it's a lot longer, it takes a lot longer time to blow dry it. So I like to kind of let most of the moisture soak up in the towel. So I'm gonna take my uh, Chi uh, blow dryer. I like a comb attachment on my blow dryers because it just helps, even for my hair, like if I'm blow drying, it really helps to do um, the blow drying because I can't do the whole, like, with the concentration nozzle and the, um, the, brush I can't do that like I haven't mastered that so having the comb attachment is key for me so I'm I am looking for another blow dryer like a really good one so if you guys know of one with a comb attachment please let me know because I really want to know I'm gonna get started with blow drying my hair this is gonna be a really quick video um, I know that um, in my video with my review on my the review of my hair I didn't get to show you guys how the texture is you guys get to see now how it looks done with blow drying this side I usually kind of bounce between each side it's just a little bit damp in here I don't have to go like blow drying really down inside the braids because this is one of the times that I didn't um, clean just inside of my braids um, I just cleaned the outside the hair um, and my leave out but this is it so far it has a lot more volume than this side as you can tell like this side is kind of drying um, the ends are getting more dry as I um, sit but this is it so far this is the texture on it. it has a really pretty texture i'm gonna comb through it you see i can comb through it with a fine tooth comb without any problems it's a really beautiful hair i'm gonna go ahead and finish this side and then go back over this side and i'll come back over so let you guys see the finished results it's all dry and so this is what it looks like all over. See how much more volume that it has? So pretty, I just love this. And it has like a natural sheen of its own, like really healthy hair. What I usually do, I'm not completely done um, with my hair because I still have to blow dry my leave out. And so to take care of my hair, I usually don't put any products on my um, weave hair because it just really doesn't need anything really but i've started using i really like it even on my natural hair is the pantene uh pro v gold series i used to really not like this line like the the african-american or the afro line or whatever but this one it smells good and it's great it's a moisture boost shampoo infused with argan oil and then the matching um conditioner uh so yeah i really like these two 
And then I do use still my T-Gel um, shampoo because um, for my scalp. Um, and I use that when I wash inside of my braids and everything too to get down into my scalp, scalp so that I can have a healthy scalp as well. Usually what I do is every other wash is washing just the leave out and the hair or then the hair inside and all of that you know doing like a full wash and i'll let the shampoo sit for a little while while i'm you know just getting all the other parts so that it can really soak inside of the braids and really clean the hair um, that's when i'm doing inside the braids and of course it's just normal washing when i do this and the leave out. I'm gonna go ahead now and finish up the last portion, which is my leave out, and then you guys can see the full final result. And so here's the full finished result. So I could actually go out like this. By this time, I usually would make um, clip-ins and that's what actually I'm gonna do um, here shortly um, because I do still have some hair left. And so I'll show you guys the hair because I did find it, thank God, because I wanna make my little clips to kind of stretch my hair just a little bit more, but it feels so good, it feels so soft. This hair has like a natural kink to it. So like in here, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's like a kink to the hair. You probably saw it in my other video too, because it actually never goes away unless you like use really high heat on it. But you see how full it is and how voluminous it is? I love it, I really do. And it really works well with my hair, like when it's blown out. So yeah, I really like this hair. So let me show you guys the piece so this is how much I had left when you stretch it and then like see how much hair that is and it actually is not a lot of hair. I don't have the, I don't have a full bundle to show you guys but this is how much hair that was left and this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get really close. And see here's some of that texture, some of the kinks. I braided this one so that's why you see that deep wave in it. This is the length. So it's a 26 inch that was left. And so I'm gonna make clip-ins with this and put it right in here because it's growing back. It's about this much grown back. And so I can have just a few more weeks of the sew-in. On my natural hair, on my real hair, I use the hair milk for moisture, The um, and then my OGX. Um, oil to seal in that moisture but those are like the only two products that I really use and then I'll use kind of sometimes a hair oil um, just to kind of lay down flyaways or something like that very light mist of that and um, really that's pretty much all of the products that I use on my hair if you wear sew-ins let me know how you take care of your hair are you somebody who can't wash inside of your braids often because it gets really matted and really tangled? Do you ever feel like doing that? Because sometimes you don't because you don't want to wait until it dries. <laughs> and I totally get that too because I never like that process. It's a long process because it has to really dry inside the braids. So if you um, have any tips or any tricks that you use when you have sew-ins, if you wear sew-ins, then share them in the comments below. And then also, let me know if you guys have tried any of these products, the Pantene Pro-V, the Gold Series. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I might do a video, might do a video, of how I make my clip-ins. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But um, if you guys want to see that, just comment below, and I'll try my best to get it out as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.